Hey, 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 everybody! This is Aquarium Hookup here, letting you know how to properly add a new piece of coral into your saltwater tank. Now, as you can see here, I have a tiny piece of uh, siphoning pipe. Um, it has to be tiny because I have a small tank. It's going from my tank up and down, and it's actually in a little loop, causing it to actually drip my saltwater water into the water that it's originally from. You want to do this because you don't want a quick, rapid change in environment water parameters because otherwise your coral will freak the F out, okay? And when it freaks out, you will not have beautiful coral, as you will soon see. So I'm going to let this drip. Uh, most people let it drip for around 30 minutes to an hour, maybe two hours, all right? I'm going to let mine drip for about 40 minutes, and uh, we're going to come back, and you're going to check out how awesome it is, all right? So you're just letting that sit there temporarily. Alright, now, as you can see, the coral is now into my tank. When you're adding the coral into your tank, you basically want to have it in the bag still, in your tank water. And you want to have the fastest transition between that water and your water as possible, just because you don't want it to be in the air without any water surrounding it for long, okay? Because that's really bad. Alright, if you can have it totally submerged, awesome, do it. Just make it fast, alright? So my tank, it's now all fine and dandy, and thank you for watching. If there are any questions, please comment below.